Moving on, Jaguars at the Bengals. Ah, Jacksonville Jaguars. James Robinson currently running back five. Running backs with more <laughs> PPR points than James Robinson. Alvin Kamara, Aaron Jones, Ezekiel Elliott, and Dalvin Cook. That's the list. Those are that's pretty good. Not bad company for a UDFA out of Illinois State who got nothing but hate from the fantasy community. Uh yeah. I don't know. No, he would he was not hated on. He was just an unknown. To be honest with you, what I'm really upset about is that this just isn't Leonard Fournette. He would have been probably running back four instead of running back five. That's an entirely different topic. When it comes to James Robinson, I have him ranked as the third (laughs) overall flex play this week. Uh, I mean, he was great last week, and he has an even better matchup this week uh, going on the road at Cincinnati, who's currently giving up the second most rushing yards uh, in the NFL. Um, They are giving up 181 yards on the ground a week. So mm-hmm. why would I not expect James Robinson to be really great? And also he was involved in the passing game and Chris Thompson is yeah. not. So James Robinson is like a surefire RB one for me to go in the rest of the season. It's amazing. Like the, the people that ended up with James Robinson on their teams, everybody's pretty much had to deal with injury, but James Robinson has been a late round saving grace, like kind of league winner. Um, yep. potential if he can keep this up all season. Huge. Um, yep. And the, the Jacksonville offense looks so different without DJ Chark being there. It's very clear that Keelan Cole. Though? Yeah. I mean, DJ Chark, Chark wasn't is, doing a lot even when he was there, right? Correct. But he was always taking away the number one defensive back. And when that D, when the number one D back can go and stop a Keelan Cole or a LaVisca Chenault type guy, then their offense just doesn't look the same. You saw how effective Gardner Minshew was prior to that game and what he looked like in this week's game. So you got to, I think DJ Chark is still the, still the guy there um, that you want to own of those three wide receivers. We were a little worried last week, but I think last week, um, last week's game actually proved who you want to own in that offense. Yeah. If DJ Chark can ever actually pull it together, um, yep. just needs them, that target chair. Bengals. My question is T Higgins a thing? No. Nine targets, three catches, 40 yards, two touchdowns. Nine targets? I got let me let me try to convince you here, Alex. Okay. Let's talk T Higgins snap percentage over the first three weeks. In week one, T Higgins only played 22% of snaps. Week two, he played 65% of snaps. Week three, he played 79% of snaps. So okay. we're seeing we're seeing this. Actually, hold on. Just get it right for the people at home. We're seeing this. We're on upward trend here, right? <clears throat> Did you know that Joe Burrow has the most dropbacks in the league? Yes. Oh, you did. You're so smart. Well, yeah, no, because I, I said uh, on our pod earlier this week that he's currently on pace for the most passes in NFL history. See, you knew that, right? I just I did. We're two peas in a pod. We're two fish in a bucket. We're two good looking dudes on a webcam a, uh, late on at a night screen. Uh, during yep. the week. We're just it's wonderful, isn't it? Ah. Joe Burrow should be picked up in every league if he's not already. He should be started in every league. He's currently on Joe Burrow. Yeah, he's only rostered in 60% of the leagues. Um, currently quarterback 10. If they're going to keep throwing the ball as much as they are, and Joe Mixon is currently RB38 and they're throwing when they get to the goal line. Um, yeah, of course I would I would Joe start Mixon Joe is RB38 because he's not getting used. Like, how do you pay that man that money and then not use Joe Mixon? R.I.P. everybody that drafted Joe Mixon in the second round. Like, good looking out. His his carries are there. He's got 19 carries, 16 carries, 17 carries. He's just not doing much with them. But the thing is, like, in the second round, you can still draft running backs that are going to have a built-in uh, passing game work that provide that floor that you want in a running back, let alone you're drafting him as your RB1 still in the second round if you picked up Devante or DeAndre in the first, you know, whoever in the first round and you're going to pick Joe Mixon. I mean, it's just, there were so many better people available where he was going. 
I get that, but Joe Mixon was also an RB1 last year. I believe he finished year ranked 12th. And so you were hoping that, hey, rookie quarterback. Kamara finishes 12, but he, okay, he was running somewhere back, running that. He was running, running back 13 from week four on. But there's no reason why he shouldn't be better in a better offense with a better quarterback. And he's all considerably worse. Yeah. It just, I don't know. I, it's baffling. Um, but Tyler that, Boyd, let, let Tyler Boyd continue to, to fire up on the outside and keep AJ Green's targets at bay. And uh, Tyler Boyd is a for sure wide receiver two at worst the rest of the way. Do you think that T Higgins has a chance of supplanting AJ Green as the second wide receiver in that offense? Um, it depends on how bad they are and if how much they're looking forward to the future. I, AJ Green has just looked washed to me. He has, and I have one reason, and there is absolutely no argument to it why I think that T. Higgins will eventually take over this season, and it is because he is wearing number 85, Ocho Cinco flashbacks. He looks great. They got to put him in more. The guy absolutely blew up last week, and he's fantastic. So I think the workload continues to increase. I hope it does. Yeah, AJ Green says he's still getting comfortable after not playing last year because of an ankle injury. Well, too damn bad. It's week three. Figure it out. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Alex's heart grew two sizes that day. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was. <laughs>